up everyone okay so today we're gonna declutter my powders i have an entire drawer of powders which if you've seen me do my makeup and like as i talk about makeup i love powder foundations like if i'm gonna use a powder that's most likely what i use but i have like half of this drawer is loose powder honestly i need maybe one <laughs> So I'm excited to go through this and really pare this down because I would love to be able to use like only half a drawer for powders and then be able to use that extra space for like highlighters because I have bronzers and highlighters together and they're kind of filling the drawer and taking over. That I tend to like, I use bronzer and highlight all the time. So I enjoy having a lot of options, but with powders, I know what I like. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't even think I'm wearing powder today. Now that I'm like looking at my makeup, I put it on hours ago and I feel like it's kind of fading off weird, but. That's not the point of this. <laughs> anyway, let me show you what the drawer looks like right now. So this is my powder drawer. And as you can see, it is chock full of powders. I kind of had it organized originally as like, these are loose powders. These are pressed powders. And then I have just some random things in the back. So I was actually gonna bring this down, but I think I'm just gonna leave it here and go through it in this way because I don't know, I just feel like switching it up. I always bring it down to the floor. So some things I love, I love the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation foundation illumination powder foundation it's the most comically long name it's so good i've repurchased this quite a few times it's one of my favorites it has super super high coverage if you will and it's kind of what made me fall in love with powder foundation so absolutely a fan definitely gonna keep this i'm gonna get rid of these two this is the ulta beauty matte finishing powder i just it's fine this is the elf sheer tint this one's actually pretty good it's just the shade is not right for me it's like really dark, weirdly dark. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the lighter shades. So I'm gonna get rid of it for that reason, but it actually is a really good finishing powder if you just want something to kind of soak up a little bit of oil in your T-zone, but not provide like a ton of coverage, this would be a good option. But this one I just didn't love. I just thought it was mess. So they're both gonna go. I feel like I don't need both of these, but they're both really good. So these are the L'Oreal Age Perfect powders. I love the white one. I feel like it's just a little bit, it's called a creamy powder foundation. I just feel like it's a little bit more forgiving on the skin, not quite as mattifying. They both have really good coverage though. So this is the one in the red packaging. This is the one in the white. You can see the white, obviously it's way lighter. They're both so beautiful though. I might keep them both because honestly, L'Oreal has some amazing powder foundation formulas and I would recommend both of these. Definitely the red if you have oilier skin and the white if you have drier skin. This one from LYS is one of my favorite powders. It is so beautiful for the under eye area. I use it all of the time because it's just really finely milled. It's not one that's going to like provide coverage necessarily. And honestly, I don't really like it all over the face. I just like it on the under eye. So I'm definitely keeping this one. LYS is one of those brands from Sephora that's a little bit more affordably priced compared to most of the other brands. So I'm a big fan of it for that reason too. All right, keeping four, getting rid of two so far. There's a lot I like. That's I think the hardest thing is I don't need all these. Like I like this revolution one actually a lot so I don't necessarily want to get rid of it so I think I'm going to keep this one too but I don't need this many powder foundations is the issue you know I'm going to get rid of the bare minerals bare pro I think it's a little bit too dark for me I don't know though it might be nice when I'm self tanning this is a powder foundation I really have not gotten to try a ton so I think I'm going to continue trying it oh boy I'll get rid of this one though this one's from Sephora I thought it was okay nothing to write home about kind of like the Ulta one and the shade was really off for me it was kind of like really light and really yellow Gosh, it almost looks like a banana powder, even though it's not meant to be. This is warm porcelain. So I'm going to get rid of it just because I really haven't tried it again since the video I did trying a bunch of Sephora stuff. So I think it's time. This I am going to get rid of. It's a white powder from Bare Minerals. I really like their original Mineral Veil line for the under eye powder. Oh, I just realized I have a bunch of powders I got to pull out of my bag. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of the white though, because even though it's translucent, I just don't reach for it very often. Never getting rid of this Kosas uh, Cloud Set Powder. I love it. I've used this so, so much. Again, this is not a high coverage type powder. This really is one that's gonna soak up oil, but it just kind of blends into your skin so nicely. There's a reason this is so wildly popular. So I'm definitely gonna keep that one. I'm pretty sure I have a new one of these that I need to break out because this powder is so old. I hit paint on it long ago and I just, I keep using it. Like I think I actually use this today on my under eye, but it's just, I don't want to get rid of it because there's nothing wrong with it. I just need to use it up 
and then I've got my fresh one. But I love that only for the under eye. I don't put that all over my face either. This is one I'm gonna get rid of. I just thought it was super chalky. The Pretty Fresh Powder from ColourPop. It's such cute packaging, so it's kind of a shame, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a repurchase, the Make It Forever powder foundation one of my absolute favorites again really high coverage it just melts into the skin so nicely this is such a good powder foundation laura mercier this is a good powder too um it's the candle glow sheer perfecting powder it's one that like when you put it all over your skin it just looks pretty you know what i mean it almost gosh it almost looks like a highlighter here but it's it's really not meant to be. It just gives you that candlelit glow. So reminds me of the hourglass ambient lighting powders, you know, very, very similar to that. So definitely gonna keep it. Honestly, see, this is why I need to get rid of it. I forgot I own this and this is so freaking beautiful. So I'm gonna put this in my vanity drawer so I actually use it. And now that I'll have less powders, I'll see it and think to use it. You know what I mean? This I'm going to get rid of, if I can get it, the Antonym powder. It's just a little too dark for me. It was one that I bought for the Hilary Duff thing. It really is. Like every time I put it on, I'm like, ooh, no. Like it just, it looks really bad. It's, I think, generally a pretty powder, but it's just not right for me. And I remember this looking somewhat weird on the skin. And I can't remember other than the shade. Like it really, because it had higher coverage, I feel like I could see it on my skin and I could see where the powder ended on my skin, you know, like an outline of my face. So I, I'm just gonna pass it on. I'm kind of sad because this was not cheap and I love how like fun it is, but I just, I don't know. I got the shade nude. Maybe that was a mistake. I need like a lighter color. I'm gonna get rid of this. I just don't reach for it. The Haley's like white powder. I'm not a big fan of white setting powders anyway. And then this one, the Clean Fresh, I just don't use very often. I think it was fine though. It wasn't a bad powder at all. I liked it on my under eyes, but I just, again, it's not oft reached for. If you are curious, I am drinking currently the very last I had of the Bubbly Bounce Caffeinated Sparkling Water and Mango Passion Fruit. It's okay. Let me rephrase. I really like it. I just realized I already drink enough caffeine throughout the day. So the last thing I need is sparkling water with caffeine in it. But I really do like it. When I was pregnant, I didn't drink it because I would have like my one cup of coffee and then that'd be it. I would probably buy it again. I just don't drink it as often. I don't know what I'm saying. The other question you might have is what this container is. They don't make these anymore. It's from the Cosmetic Archive. I think that brand is no longer, which is such a shame because these were really nice. But you can find, I mean, containers like this literally anywhere you know what i mean so anyway i like it though i'm thinking about i i don't have most of these don't have that kind of container i have other ones and i'm thinking about using a different container for this we'll see all right now we tackle the thing i almost don't want to tackle okay a couple things first this is the fenty beauty powder foundation it's okay i just don't reach for it i'm gonna pass it on this is super old but it's so pretty this is a models prefer that i got sent from Arna, who used to be on YouTube. It's such a pretty loose powder. If you live in a place where you can get Models Prefer, please buy this for yourself and enjoy it. It's their mineral finishing veil. It is so gorgeous, but it is super old. I'm gonna get rid of, okay, this is some easy stuff. The air spun, I bought for some video. I cannot stomach the smell of this. It is a classic, but I cannot stand it. So I have two hourglass loose powders. I actually really like this. So this is like a travel size of the veil powder, which I like the powder. I like having a travel size of it. I think that's pretty cool. Very, very finely milled, as are really all of these. This one just seems to be really undetectable on the skin, which is why I like it. I'm torn because I'm like, do I really need the travel size? But it is nice. Usually when I travel, I bring one loose powder and it's usually this one just because it's so small and I don't need a huge amount, you know? But same goes for this. I have these Laura Mercier. I literally have three of the exact same powder. That is ridiculous. So I have this teeny tiny travel size that can go, then this travel size and then the full size. So I'm kind of thinking I might get rid of the full size and just keep the small one because I love this powder, but I will never ever go through this whole thing. Not in a million years. So it's kind of perfect to just have a smaller one because I do love the formula. That stuff will make your makeup last literally forever. So I also have, this is their glow version. Actually guys, stop, look at this. This is so bad. These were at the workspace. I gotta go through these two. I'm glad I grabbed them though, but geez Louise. So we have even more. I'll have to count how many we started with. So back to what I was talking about. I have this glow version of the Laura Mercier and then I have this tone up version. So there's the glow version right there. There's the tone up version right there. So it definitely like brightens if you will, but the glow, you can kind of see that glow there. So I'm a little torn because I they both are very, very different, as silly as that sounds. And the glow one kind of looks pretty. I'm gonna put some on. 
Uh, no, the glow did not look good on my skin. It just, I, and it might've been that I just put way too much. Okay, I kind of like the tone up. I like the idea of that, just using it mostly on my under eye. So I'm gonna get rid of the glow, keep the tone up one. This Beauty Bakery one is really nice as well. So if you're in need of a loose powder, again, I just have too many, I don't use it, but it's a really nice one. I like the Milk Makeup one too. I really like, is this the one? Yeah, I love the packaging of this that you can kind of, do it in there, it makes me want to use it more often. So I think I'm gonna keep that one as well and then get rid of these. The Fit Me powder is gorgeous. See, I might keep this because the thing about this one is it has some coverage to it and that is why this one is magic. So I'm gonna keep it now that I'm saying it out loud, but I am gonna get rid of the e.l.f. Halo Glow, this one is pretty good. I liked it on my under eye, but I just don't reach for it. I like the Fit Me one better than that one, if you were curious. All right, we've got some more powders. This is a lip thing that was really cool from Makeup by Mario, but guess what? I never use it. I don't know why it's in here, but I'm gonna get rid of it as well. And then this is way too dark. So this is a like powder where you can reapply your SPF, but it's just a little bit too dark, but I love the idea of it. I'd like to own one if you have a recommendation, like, is this a good brand? This is in medium and it is way, way too dark. So some obvious keeps here. The e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation is like my favorite right now. I love it so much. So that is a definite keep. It is wild coverage. It smooths your pores. I also am enjoying the Glowish powder foundation, so I'm gonna keep that one. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Fit Me. This one is fine. I just, again, I have too many powders I'm using. This is not really meant to be a coverage powder. It's more of just like a setting powder, and I think it's fine. This one, I cannot get the right shade of this powder. This is actually a new one that I bought from Pure, and so many people love it, and I've been trying to figure out why people like it so much. I just don't know. This is closer to my shade, so I'm gonna put this in my vanity and actually try it, see if I like it, because I'm trying to figure out what all the fuss is about it. One of my favorites, the number seven Lift and Luminate powder. I'm just about to hit pan on it again. This is such an unbelievably amazing under eye powder. I hope it's not being discontinued. It's like 12 bucks at Walgreens and Target, and it is an amazing under eye powder. It is like stupid beautiful. And this Rare Beauty one is still new. Jessica, you have so many loose powders. Like, look at this. I, got, I need to look at these again. These are all my loose powders. Like, do I really need that much? All right, I'm gonna keep the Fit Me one because I like that it has coverage. It's the only one out of these that does. I'm gonna keep the Tone Up one because it's like a brightening one and I wanna use it on my under eyes some more. And then I think I'm just gonna keep the Hourglass Veil and get rid of the travel size one. And then keep the one Laura Mercier one, the regular one. I'm so torn, you guys. Because this Rare Beauty one is newer to me. The Milk one is just really good. I guess I'll just keep both. I didn't really get much better, did I? So those are all my powders. Let's look at what we're working with here. All right, that's not too bad, huh? So I've got kind of generally loose powders here and then there, actually, I wonder. There we go, oh yeah. All my loose powders are in one, so that I can deal with. And then I've got my like under eye setting powders here. And then I'm gonna call these specialty powders, my like kind of radiant one. And then this one that I just use in my T-zone that I love. And then all of those are powder foundations. So that leaves room for other stuff. So if I wanted to put, honestly, maybe I'll move the powders over and then I can put highlighters over there or bronzers or whatever it is, but this is such a better feeling. So we are literally getting rid of half. I just counted and I have 39 total. I'm getting rid of 19 here and I'm keeping 20. That is awesome. That's at least what I was hoping for. I kind of wished I got rid of more. I think I'm gonna get rid of two more, these two, because I know which L'Oreal one I like the best and I just have so many powder foundations. I feel like keeping this is silly. So there we go. Now we're getting rid of 21, keeping 18. That's awesome. And then this random lip thing. So I'm feeling good. There are a couple of these that are pretty new. I'm gonna offer to some friends and family and stuff. Well, a lot of these really. And then some are just super old that need to go in the trash. So thanks for coming on this journey with me, you guys. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this declutter. Of course, I have a playlist of declutter videos. If you want to check them out, I'll link it right at the top of the description box so you can check it out, binge through some of them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around some for, for some more of my videos. I do vlogs, I do all kinds of stuff here. I would love to have you join our little family and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.